What's going on reef builders? I'm Jake Adams in the studio on this early day in the new year. I hope everyone enjoyed the brand new video on the top 10 reef aquarium products of 2019. I know you guys had a lot to say about that, but one of the products that didn't ship in time for this year's consideration, which is going to be a super Oh, you probably showed them. You probably showed them to you. Um, so this is going to be a really awesome product. It's long awaited. This is the Versa, the Ecotech Marine Versa. We have a great video on how the Versa is put together. So you can see that it's plantar gear and custom made so a pancake style stepper motor is um, really different. I think this is going to be a dozen pump for life. So let's open it up together. I kind of know what to expect, you know, because I've been at Ecotech Marine. All right, so we have kind of a measuring cup for titration, power supplies, and here, oh my God, that is just so beautiful. Isn't it nice, Evan? Doesn't get much better than that. It's just, it's so beautiful. But um, what you probably haven't seen much of, or heard much of, is that these four packs of Versas come with the base station. This is the thing I've spent very little time with and I don't know exactly how much it does. Um, let's see how these come off. I haven't even tried. Woo, oh, that's hot. So there's a little spring-loaded mechanism right here. And I think we can just pop it on there. All right, so the other thing I wanna show you is the Versa comes with push to connect fittings. So you can use these with your semi-rigid tubing, which is what we're going to do. But the Versa ships with these stem adapters. And so these just kind of slide right on in uh, in case you have some soft tubing or something. And uh, you kind of hold back that collar and then they come out. But otherwise, if you don't hold the collar, then they won't come out. So I have a very special task for these. Let me show you where we're going to install it. This is the GHL Doser 2, and it's worked really, really well considering what I'm trying to get it to do, and that is pump, I think, 10 liters, then six, then five, twice. So let's say about 25 liters a day. So this thing is probably pumped thousands of liters through the entire machine to basically feed the calc reactors all throughout the studio. So this is a very high volume, kind of higher pressure, higher stress application. And this thing has performed admirably, but this is where the Versa is really, really gonna shine. So we're going to uninstall this and probably earmark it for some other application, but we're gonna rebuild this a little bit and put the Versa on here. So uh, just stay tuned. Oh, I do think we need to plug in the the Versa for a little while and get some firmware updates going. So we're gonna plug it in, see how it goes. But uh, in the meantime, we're gonna rebuild um, this kind of water feeding system and uh, see what happens. All right, so I do think it's gonna take a just a minute for um, the firmware to really get up to date. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in, fire up the Mobius app, and just see how quickly we can get recognized. Where's the jobby for this thing? Okay, it's back here. Man, this thing feels so solid. <laughs> so freaking solid. Oh, there's a little router chain channel right there. So you can flush mount the whole thing. That's pretty neat. All right, let's get that in there. Oh, oh. Update on mine only took like five minutes. Okay, maybe maybe I'm over overblowing that. Ooh, pretty lights. I think that's fun. Is uh, Ecotech Marine has always done uh, these indicator LEDs really well. So through the color of the LED, the flashing, the breathing, the pattern, there's a lot of things we can tell about them. So let me fire up Mobius here, and we're gonna see how long, what, what we need to do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I need to add another tank. Ah, there we go, there we go. So I'm gonna create a new tank, which is basically, I'm just calling it uh, fresh water. There we go, next. All right, oh, look at that. <laughs> They're already ready to go. Bing, bang, bang, bong, next. And, uh, all right, so it's gonna check the firmware. All right, so here's the etiquette. Oh, that was pretty fast. Oh, yeah, so you see a little bit of blinky action going on up here a little bit. Um, so, it's probably just gonna, so Evan says it's gonna, yeah, there we go. Just finishing setup. Dude, is this gonna be super fast? It's, yeah, usually it doesn't go to take very long. Oh, I'm covering the, the Neo 
indicator LEDs. All right, you guys, hey everybody. It's been a few days since I got uh, the verses all set up and uh, this is what they look like basically in operation. I have them set to continuous use. So these motors are never going to get a break. One of the things that I think I remember about the Versa that makes them kind of different from the others is if you're using this in like more of a chemical dosing situation, um, it's going to dose and then the rollers are going to go right back to the where they were before in an effort to keep the pinching of the peristaltic hose to a minimum, confined to the same place so then you won't have any drift or errors uh, down the road. So one of the things that makes um, I guess most of the better dosing pumps and dosing systems, um, I guess more precise these days is the ability to calibrate them. Um, I actually have a lot of faith in Ecotech Marine in their ability to calibrate their pumps at the factory. So I didn't do that, um, but I tested it instead. And I just kind of want to show you uh, what I did to test it. It's actually pretty cool. So this is one. This is one of the calc reactors that is uh, being powered by the Versa pump right now. So you can see it's coming in through this tubing right here. And I've got a steady drip of about one drop every six seconds, which is roughly equivalent to two mLs per minute or three liters per day. So since I have the pump all set up, I didn't want to take it apart to calibrate it over there. So basically I'm just testing the accuracy through all the water lo lines, all the water hoses, and uh, it's quite impressive. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm not really sure how well you're gonna be able to see this. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the Mobius application. Uh, I wanna send a very special welcome to everyone just joining the Mobius ecosystem. It's actually quite great. Uh, it's also kind of the first version that's out for public testing. So in time, I'm really looking forward to uh, developing and, and learning a lot more new features about uh, everything that's gonna run on Mobius. But, uh, all right, so we're going to just remove this hose right here. So this is the feed hose. And in Mobius, uh, I can pick my water box tank right here. These little drops is the manual dosing. So it's 30 mLs over 10 seconds. I've got a 50 milliliter beaker right here. And just going to basically press dose and very quickly put this back in. So we're going through about, let's just say about 40 feet of semi-rigid uh, water line and I have not calibrated it yet, but I know that it's uh, pretty much done dosing. And look at that, look at that. 30 mLs right on the money, through 30 to 40 feet. So it's pulling like five or six feet and it's pushing another 30 feet. You wanna see that again? Here, let's give it a, <laughs> this is actually really, really fun to do. And um, if you're calibrating a dosing pump, you kinda wanna do it through all your tubing to get the, uh, the highest accuracy. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the manual dose of 30 mLs, kind of the standard dose. And just without missing a beat, it just, just uh, completely fills it up. Just like that, stops. So we had a couple drops in there, but 30 mLs twice, not sure how well that's in focus, but um, that is the kind of precision that uh, just not really used to um, with any real uh, reef aquarium device. So I hope you guys found it as impressive as I do that the Versa is so precise, so accurate while running through uh, all of that RO tubing. Um, I'm using it primarily right now, actually exclusively, as a uh, water feeder for calc reactors, but no doubt the majority of you are gonna be using it for dosing calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, some of you top off, some of you with the water changes. So this is probably one of the most cru crucial applications here at the studio. Studio, but I have a lot of other dosers uh, here. I've got a different stack over there, but I'm very much looking forward to um, making the Versa the doser of choice for everything across the studio because it's just going to be nice to have everything on one platform. So um, I thought it was going to take a while to uh, update the firmware and get everything connected, but it was so fast that I just I waited a few days for this thing to run just to make sure I didn't come across any uh, 
issues or problems. And uh, yeah, right now it is the ultimate uh, long distance uh, water or doser pump um, that I've used. I'm very happy with it. I'm very <laughs> uh, thankful that Ecotech Marine finally brought it to market. Should be available from vendors um, shortly, you know, several days after this video comes out. So if you've been looking for, you know, a doser that you can really, really count on, uh, the Ecotech Marine Bursa is gonna be a really great choice. So I still don't know what all the little blinky lights do on the pump. I don't know what the dock does, all the little buttons, um, but we have time to uh, experiment and learn um, all the different features of this new dosing pump. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them down below. Uh, Evan's actually been in using his for like three or four weeks, so he might be able to give us some more insight. And if you have picked up a Versa, um, one of the lucky few to get one early, uh, if you have any feedback or comments, go ahead and put those down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to get back to shooting some more video content for you guys because we have a lot to talk about. So I'll see you on the next video.